The bill before them was unmistakably and indisputably good. In voting no, Congressman Gosar and Biggs proved themselves to be unmistakably and indisputably the opposite. Gosar and Biggs are not the only Republicans facing backlash for voting against helping Afghan translators. Over the weekend, the veterans group Vote Vets released this ad targeting two different Republicans for their vote against that bipartisan bill. When nearly every Republican and Democrat in Congress comes together to make sure local interpreters who served us faithfully and kept our troops safe are offered a way out if they want it. Guess who teamed up and voted to abandon them to the Taliban? Bobert and Green. This access of evil wouldn't know a patriot if one stepped up and shook their hands. They don't respect service and sacrifice. They ridicule those who serve and praise traitors and insurrectionists. If Bobert and Green won't stand up for America, let's make it our mission to replace them with people who will. There are just 46 days left until we reach the Biden administration's end of August deadline for withdrawing all remaining U.S. forces from Afghanistan. 46 days. And despite the efforts of those 16 Republicans, other members of Congress and veterans groups across the country are doing everything they can to try and save those Afghan translators and their families before it's too late. But with each passing day, the challenge faced by those translators becomes more dire. 